Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us understood some more detail about AI. That is uh, the variation between the current AI, current trending AI and past trending AI. So the current trending AI or the buzzword that you listen is generative AI. So coming to past trending one related to AI, the past trending AI is this traditional AI. Okay. And we also observe that. So what is the major changes happened from traditional to Gen AI? So what is the requirement to move towards there? So what this traditional AI can do and what this generative AI can do? So now let's have the question. What this traditional AI can do? and what this generative AI can do. So when do I use this traditional AI or when do I use this generative AI purpose? This traditional AI can be used. That is if you take a real time example, then this traditional AI can be used to process existing data. Let's take an example of cats. If I provide 10 cat images to a machine, or you can say an AI, I trained my traditional AI with 10 cat images or you can say some cat images. And I provided one more cat image to this traditional AI. Then what it will do is it will identify that cat in the picture, whatever the picture that I provide to this traditional AI, this will identify the cat image in that picture. So what is the main use case of this traditional AI? It can process the existing data. Now let's say my requirement is increased from identifying or observing the cat image to generating a new cat image from the available data set. I want my model to generate not just only processing the existing data. I want the generation as well. I want to generate a new cat image. Is that possible by this traditional AI? No, we cannot able to generate new data by using this traditional AI. So that's why this generative AI came into picture. In this generative AI, so not only processing, not only processing the existing data, you can also generate new data as well. That is, if you ask one more cat image, then this generative AI will provide you that new cat image. Now let's have the question that is why this generative AI models can able to generate new data? Why these traditional AI models cannot able to generate the data? The reason behind this is training data. For this traditional AI training, we use less amount of training data compared to this generative AI models. Compared to these generative AI models, generative AI model, traditional AI models are trained with less data. If you observe, if you observe, for this traditional AI prediction, that is up to 100 images is enough. That means uh, if I want to predict my image by providing an image, then obviously 1 to 10 images are sufficient for me to provide to this uh, traditional AI to identify my image. Because I provide my image again and I ask to identify whether it's me or not. So that this traditional AI is sufficient for me. Whereas coming to this generative AI, 
it needs to generate new content based on the existing content so how this generative ai can able to generate a new content from based on existing content based on patterns based on the patterns it will identify this generative ai will identify the patterns and dimensions or you can say the properties of the data that we provided and then based on that whole data this generative ai will generate new content if you take this generative ai real time example like chat gpt so in 2021 the older version of chat gpt is trained with 500 plus it will trained with 500 plus gb of data so at 2021 year itself so that's why the chat gpt can able to generate the content for us because it is trained with that much a huge amount of data that means you can say whole search engine data is trained within that mode also that's why we are getting that much of accurate results from that generative ai model so here the training data will be very huge compared to traditional ai because in generative ai we are generating a new content from the existing content how we are generating new content in this generative ai by identifying the trends as well as the patterns of the old or the data that we provided it will generate me the new new data by using neural networks by using transformers architecture i'll explain you about the transformers architecture and neural networks as well just remember neural networks is like a human brain for this generative ai in order to compute or you can say in order to train these all data or in order to grasp these all data that we train to this gen ai and generate a new content based on identifying new patterns and trends in that provided or trained data to this gen ai so this is the major advantage of generative ai compared to this traditional ai and that's why we moved from this traditional ai to this generative ai so i hope you understood the current gen current trending of ai that is generative ai and why we moved from traditional ai to gen ai nowadays i hope you understood this video and you got some good knowledge regarding the current trending version of ai than old trending version of ai i hope this video is useful if you feel this video is useful then please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching again see you back in the next video with another interesting topic until then bye bye guys